Hey YouTube, it's Prep for Life. Today we are going to review the Rocket Gator RG25 waterproof backpack. Basically a big dry sack turned into a pack. So stick with me and we're gonna put it through its paces. Alright guys, so let's dig in. If you're familiar with dry bags at all, you're going to recognize the design. I've, I've left this open to kind of show just how big it is. The total capacity, you're looking at about 40 liters. So it can actually hold quite a bit. I was worried initially about the, the welded seams. Um, obviously that helps keep things nice and watertight. But at the same time, they can certainly rip, in my opinion, a little bit easier than sewing things. Um, off their website, they're saying about a 20 kilogram strap strength converted to pounds. That's about 44 pounds. So not bad for a dry sack. You know, some of the, the pluses on their website is that this thing will float when it's dropped in water. Obviously, you have to correctly seal it for that. We're going to test that out. It is a quick submersion waterproof. So, you know, I think they're kind of covering their bases, making sure that you're not just dropping it in water and letting it float down the river with you. But we'll also test that out. We're going to go, uh, you know, see how long we can leave it in there, see how, how dry things stay. A little bit closer into the bag, you'll notice they've got a pretty good size carry handle that feels solid, feels nice and, and positive in my hand. Um, again, it comes down to the welds, so whether those are hold. Um, again, 44 pounds, that's pretty good. You've got some reflective surfaces here uh, for carrying that. Looks like we've got a front zipper, and this is what they call their splash proof front zipper pouch. That's actually going to go all the way down the length of the bag. Um, feels kind of cool. I think you can put a lot in there, but at the same time, it's not going to be waterproof, you know, if you need anything particularly uh, protected in that pocket. Going down, you've got some shock cord here. Obviously, this is the non waterproof part of the bag. You do have some carabiner look loops. Looks like some good attachment points here. I really do like the design of this. Looks like it gives some great options. Obviously, your your pockets here, your netting. Um, you know, think maybe like your clean canteens or whatever. Um, looks good. Let's go ahead and flip this over. Uh, again, some more reflective surfaces here, and there's some good padding here. I feel like this thing could be pretty comfortable if you're loading it to capacity. You've got some airflow channels here. Nice thick padding. I don't know if I can really capture how how thick that is. I think it's a good design. You do have some adjustable straps, so if you want to you know, bring that load a little bit closer to your body, I think that's nice and adjustable. You do have a sternum strap, a couple of other attachment points here, that's nice. There is a waist belt allowing you to divert some of that weight to your hips if you like, if that's a little bit more comfortable for you. Um, all in all looks good. As you look inside, there's a laptop pocket. So this, I think, is a new design with the third generation. Um, kind of cool. I mean, I, I, I'm still a little bit nervous before testing this thing to see, you know, if I want to toss a laptop into the water with me. But that is a cool option for your electronics. It looks like this is a, a hook and loop. So, you know, if you want to swap this out maybe for other Velcro accessories, looks like that could work for those of us that are tactically minded, you know, maybe a gun holster, something like that. That's pretty cool. You do have another strip of carabiner loops right here in the in the top, so you can kind of keep some of your items closer up there with you. And then it looks like a little bit of a like an electronics or a key pouch right there toward the top. And again, we're we're dealing with the the waterproof side of the bag. So inside, assuming this thing holds up in the water, those things should be nice and watertight. Looking in here, it's pretty cavernous. I mean, that's a big. That's a good sized bag for putting in, you know, whatever you might want to. Not bad. Okay, measuring. Looks like we're right at about ooh, 31, roughly about 17 inches across. So it's a good sized bag. I'll go ahead and get some measurements of what this looks like on both myself, a larger frame individual, as well as my wife, who's uh, probably about 5'2, five, 5'3. Today we're going to try out the Rocket Gator in the water and uh, see how it does. It's a beautiful day up here in the canyon. So let's see what we got. Alright, so I've got the Rocket Gator with me today. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. And, and I've gone ahead and put a couple of things in here. So you'll notice I've got it packed up 
really, you know, nothing consequential, but I do have a blanket and I've got a pillow. They're both pretty big. I, I do have to say I'm pretty surprised at the, the sheer size of this thing. It can actually hold quite a bit. The only thing that worries me, guys, is you'll see right here, it's put together using welds. So the only, the flaw here is that you're not gonna be able to, to really pack this down with a ton of weight because there's always a chance of these pulling apart. But to have, you know, some essential items in essentially a dry bag ready to go with you, the first thing that comes to mind would be, for example, going on a, a river rafting trip, uh, doing some, you know, some kayaking, some white water. This thing would be outstanding. Unfortunately, it's not the season where I can actually do a review like that. Maybe I'll do a follow-up here as it gets warmer. But I'm going to go ahead and just seal this up. Actually, let me start off here. I'm going to get my first seal ready. I'm going to take some air out of it. And now I'm just going to wrap a few more times here. Like any dry bag, if you ever used a dry bag, they're pretty simple and they are awesome to use. You go ahead and wrap it around like that. The Rocket Gator does come with a cool little strap here to kind of lock all that down. It looks pretty nice. I've gone ahead and brought a little paracord. So, I want to test this out in the stream behind me. Test this and see how it does. Follow me down. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and we'll see what we got here, guys. We're going to let that float for a little while. not too bad. That's probably a good reasonable amount of time to be able to pick your pack out of the water. You did notice though, I think I packed it or sealed it right because it was floating in the water and that's one thing they, they list in their documentation that it should work. Let's go ahead and toss it in one more time we'll see how it does. Ready? Yeah, this thing's floating like a champ, no problem here guys. We're going to keep them there for as long as I can. Okay, just put up against the rock. So it's hanging out in there for a good amount of time. Awesome. All right. Pull it back in. And coming back up here to this rock, let's see what we got here, guys. Now my hands are a little bit wet. I want to make sure I don't taint what's inside. But most importantly, we just want to see I want to see if this has kept things dry like it should have. Okay, there's the paracord. I'm going to dry that off later. Alright, the bag's pretty soaked, I do have to say. So let's see what we got inside. Yeah, so far perfectly dry. We have our blanket. As you can see, there's no water spotting except maybe where my fingers are touching it. Awesome. And my pillow. Yeah, that's perfectly dry. I don't see, I don't see any water in here whatsoever. I could totally see myself maybe packing my Cimarron and uh, maybe some clothes and heading down the river for a few days. It'd be kind of cool to bring in some electronics and, and have that with you and feel confident that they're not going to get soaked when you're on your way down. Now the other thing I wanted to check here guys, yeah let me go ahead and seal this again. Take my air out and then start to seal. You can see it really has a good a good suction there and that's nice. Okay. Let's lock that down. I'm gonna have to let this thing dry out. But the other part here is the inside pocket. Now there is some water in here, and they do they do warn about that on the website. So there is a front pocket. It's actually pretty deep. It feels like it goes the entire length of the, the bag. And yeah, it looks like, guys, water does get in that zipper. But they do warn you in the documentation that zipper is really not waterproof. So I think, you know, things that are, that are okay to get wet, or if you have electronics, maybe a cell phone that you toss into a, a dry bag of its own, you could probably put on the front here and I think that would work. But as you can see, the water just goes right into that zipper. So do be aware of that. So this is a pretty cool bag. I definitely feel confident that I can recommend this to my viewers. I'll put a link to these bags down in the description of the video if you want to check them out yourself. 
and remember to share with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and be alerted for any new updated gear videos that we'll be doing in the future. Thanks for watching.